Alright, welcome back. Last time we fought... A boss? Yeah, we got Melchior and... Blew the whole... Boo. Blew the whole lid off, uh... Apparently everything. I talked to him again. I think I know what we're supposed to do, but I want to double check. You've done so much for us. I think we're supposed to go to the Ocean Palace. I hope so. Shaul's been abducted. There you go. That's right. That's right. Now, how do we get there is the question. Also, have I been in here? I don't know if I have. This doesn't look familiar. Miss Shala, where have you gone? Damn, kids got respect. So it was the Enlightened Ones. Well, of course. Those assholes. Speaking of respect, I work with kids a lot. Like, that's been my job for the last, like, five years. Now you're really irritated because you can tell who are bad parents. Because when I was younger, like, you know, the age of these kids, like grade school, through even through middle school and high school, I always respected my teachers and adults of pretty much every adult. But now we have these kids who, for some reason, I'm hoping I can go up to get to the underwater palace. And we're using a team that I don't think I've used a lot of, just to switch it up. So we'll see if it's even worth it. These kids are so disrespectful. And I don't quite understand where the fall-off happens. Or the fall-off, not fall-off. Because the kids... just I don't know how you can be that disrespectful sometimes. Like, they talk shit to you. And like, they're teenagers, whatever, but... Even when I was a teenager and hormonal and things like that, I knew not to disrespect adults. I disrespected kids. Like, other kids that would disrespect me. Just because you can't take shit, but... Otherwise... I, I love it up here. Like, this is my favorite time period. So far. Just looking at... All of them. I haven't... I don't feel like I've seen a lot of the present. Strangely enough. Because you... I mean, you start there and you go around there every now and then, but I don't feel any... I don't feel any continuity there. Why am I here? I want to talk to people, but... Oh, that's right, someone said there's a secret door. Like, one of these people that were sleeping, we're talking about truth doors. Let's see if we can find that. Kajar. Yeah. Oh, maybe we need the airship. Oh, we have a... We have a fucking time ship. Why do we need that? Yeah, I don't know, like... I work with kids... Who clearly weren't parented well. And the king died. Oh, after the king died. That's right. What is it? Okay, we talked to all you guys, but at what price? You see, reason, reason why that guy's like a Dark Souls item description. Even though Dark Souls came after this, obviously. Like you'll read some in Dark Souls and be like, "But who would use such a thing?" Perhaps some questions are better left unanswered. You know, you get that kind of stuff. But yeah, like, these parents drop off these kids at these after-school programs and stuff. North Palace is sealed. Okay. But I can open them, because I have the pendant. Oh, my... Ooh. Oh. Oh! Oh. Oh, but the entrance to it is sealed. We have land bridges, though. Yeah, like, they drop off their kids at these after-school programs and, like, expect us to raise them or something. I wonder what's inside the North Palace. I wonder if the pendant opens that, actually. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What you guys don't know is you're all oppressed. The Queen's making you think you can just do whatever and just sleep, and that's how they get you. You're apathetic. You gotta fight back. Where does this take me? I'm just exploring right now. I don't even remember if I came this way. Maybe I did. That's how I got up to... the other place before. Okay. There's a cave over there. I wonder if you go through another cave and come out that way. I don't know. We're trying to find stuff. We're exploring. The reason I bring up the kids thing is because I was at work on Thursday. And this middle school girl, she, like I told her to recycle something. 
And then she said, why? She said, it's not going to matter if I throw this plastic away. Sorry about that, I had a coughing thing. Damn, I need to drink. Hold on. Whew, okay. Yeah, so she... She said, why do I need to recycle this? It's not... I throw away one plastic thing or whatever, it's not gonna matter. And I got really irritated. Not like at her or whatever, visibly or anything. But I told her, I said, if you think you... Not recycling something's gonna matter. Then... What happens if six million people have that thought? Or, you know, a billion people. What if a billion people go, Why do I need to not recycle this? It's not gonna matter. You know, it's like, individually, yes, it's not gonna matter. But if a bunch of people have the same thought, then it becomes a group. And the group, having... Where, I, where the hell am I going? I guess let's check out Kajar. Yeah, then a group of people having that thought is when it becomes detrimental. It's the same pe thing when people say, you know, why am I not, you know, in America, or the United States, rather. You know, America's a continent, but... In the United States, when they say, I'm not gonna vote, there's no point. It's like, well, when a bunch of people have that thought, then it does matter. So, you, you have to think large-scale sometimes. Yeah, I've talked to all of you guys. I yeah, know. That's the sun keep. I can't actually walk away from her during this. Oh, what the hell? Okay, she's shown us. Or he, I can't even tell. I'm sorry I'm talking to everyone again, I just... I'm trying to remember who told us about the secret door. Seen a lot of Yanis. Oh, we talked to you too. My, yes. Oh my gosh, where is the secret stuff? Oh, it was in the palace, wasn't it? Oh well, let's take one more quick look in here. Alright, we gotta find the Ocean Palace. There are a couple doors and stuff here, but maybe I'll run around in between episodes and see if I can find who's talking about it or pop it or something like that and not have the running around on camera, because sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. Let me just teleport up. Do we even need to go back to the palace? Oops. Shh, I said. I hope all of you have been well. I know I say that every time I start recording, but... I really care about your well-being. And we broke 400 subs, and I'm very happy. Because, like I've always said, I didn't expect to get past, like, 30 subs. So to be... Where we're at now is actually quite a success. Now... So yes, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. And who's been watching. Chrono Trigger, as a blind Let's Play, has gotten more hits than anything I've started up without like advertising. I usually don't go posting about my Let's Plays until they're done, because I don't... You know, if, if someone wants to watch, I don't want to hook them before and then make them, you know, sit there and watch through my inconsistent or inconsistent uploads. Maybe I should start doing that. Where? Can we not go to the Mamma machine now? Okay. And those he loves, oh gosh. Yes. It's been moved. Ah. Oh. Okay, so the whole palace group is just up and left. So, ooh, 
I guess we'll save here. Save up here. Okay, you guys don't say shit. You can't scratch any backs. Took Shala. Yeah, that's actually not gonna happen. Dalton! Fooey! Why is the prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck on guard duty? Or with guard duty. There you are. I let the prophet go, knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. But I have no use for you anymore. Sounds like you're trying to get your ass whooped. Your history! And then random boss fight! Iron Orb. Hopefully he sticks to single target. And is that a counter attack? That's a counter attack. I screwed up so bad right there. Alright, let's think. Is he only... Is he only counter-attack? He only counter-attacks. And then he does that randomly. Throw the girl, Chrono! That's okay. I have a feeling over time he's... After he does this a few times, he's gonna like bust out a... Okay, so if Chrono initiates the text, and Chrono's the one that gets hit, then we can just force... Force heal Chrono. And then they do that. So let's... I was like, did I... I thought I messed up so bad, and I was like, why did you zap her? Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking he's gonna get a slow and then just do, like, some big attack that actually isn't a scaled damage. Or he's just doing this as, like, the illusion of... We confuse you. Oh, did... Oh, what? Cool. Alright, we're at about a happy medium. He's gonna half our... Halv... Halve our HP at the same uh, rate that we're healing, almost. Cure be much stronger. No! Don't do that, he's got the most HP. I guess Falcon hit? Because the Volt Bite did 1100. And that did less, and it cost more MP. Why'd he burp? Cool. No! I'm going to be immortal! I can't be beaten now! Is this the real boss fight? Just trap yourself? I guess we use him to port down. But we're gonna go... <laughs> and heal. And save! We're gonna do both of those things together. Right now. Yeah! Alright. I really don't like this team setup right now. I don't like their group techs. Like, it's really good single target. Like, it's decent single target healing. Pretty good single target damage. Oh, that's spooky. I don't want to go underwater. Getting a huge Final Fantasy IV vibe. It's probably just me, and I don't really know why. I'm thinking of, like, the underground area, like, Edge's time period and stuff. Final Fantasy IV spoilers. Uh, let's leave that. Let's leave. Let's leave this because we started here, let's leave this because that's back up top. And then this will be our... So, oh, it's Mune! I was gonna say Mune! I was just gonna be joking, the black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. I'm wondering how those two are connected to Melchior. 
Shala, raise the power of the mammoth machine to its limit! As X approaches A! Shala, you dare to disobey me. Alright, mother. Oh, what bright splendor! The incredible power of Lavos. Ah. <laughs> Is Magus gonna turn around and stop all this? Is he gonna go, no, I can't! I can't! Like, maybe he's just the double agent. He saw the power of Lavo, so now he's like, I actually have to go back. Now that I'm in this time period, I need to stop it. Well, switches are bad. Hopefully the- ugh. Protected by Bargus' shield. So Bargus is the other one. Your standard boss or er, enemy arrangement kill a protected guy. What? It actually had to pass real time before I could directly hit him? Like, Isla might not have text, but her like, press fight button is really really good. Maybe I should have stepped on that again. We have Max Cyclone. Attack is hilarious. I guess. Oh, what? It's based on where Robo's standing. Or, uh, Mango. That kind of sucks, actually. Why am I just punching this? This is actually the dumbest thing I could be doing. Probably gonna give Chrono a magic tab, finally. I think I gave him one already. Probably gonna give him another one. Ah! I'll just punch the mage then. I mean, if we don't get anything resisted, the damage output of this group is probably high. I was about to heal with her. That actually sucks. Yeah, like since all their fight buttons are really strong and they have some good physical attacks I feel like if they can actually do damage they're probably gonna power through a lot of stuff like individually that like that's what I keep saying that this is a single target group so far like they have single target heals they have single target techs they have good single target damage stats wise they're good as single individuals This group's probably really good against, like, one enemy that doesn't have group attacks. Just sit here and spam these. Oops. Okay. What are you guys learning? What the hell is this? Ultimate damage? Oh, what? Is that, like, his last thing? When you have ultimate in the name, that's usually your last thing. can't. Okay. Ooh. Oh, someone told me about this. I'm really sorry when I forget you guys' names. You guys... I get so many comments now. I get more than I'm used to. And a lot of you guys say a lot of interesting things, so I always forget who tells me what, especially when it's been like a week. Yeah, someone told me that Isla can steal. And so we're gonna go, like, Final Fantasy IX in this. Yes! Yes! Okay. You're officially... You've officially completely risen or raised your stock in this group. Aeon Helm. <laughs> Bitch, I already have one! <laughs> it's stronger than the Glow Helm. Yes. That's weird. She's like... She's a weird hybrid. Like, she can wear some of the mage gear. And then she can wear the fighter gear. I guess that's to make up for her... Not being a what you call it? Not being a not having magic ability. So I kind of give her. I like that though. It's a nice balance. Oh, there's nothing else in here. Thought there's a door. I thought there's a door like down. Ooh. 
Alright. I'm glad I bought all this shit for you. When? <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe I should give it to her. Actually, I don't think she could wear that. Do I still want the power scarf? Do I want a speed belt? I almost want a speed belt, honestly. Oh, she loses seven attack? Oh. I mean, her physical attack's her thing. And her base speed isn't bad. Oh my gosh, she's so strong. I guess we'll give Chrono a magic tab. While we're here. Because if I really need to start using that magic, then I want it to be in tip-top shape. Anything here? This looks like a door. I like this area so far. Kaiser. Ooh, what? Well, this is the uh, the buff mango area. <laughs> I have all of the upgrades. <laughs> Guess we could go down there and fight those, but... Why? Oh! It's like, sorry, we can't step around that corner. Be too scary. What if we fall, Chrono? So I have to go through there, but is there anything else to learn? No other doors, no... No glowy secrets. I'll try and walk around this. You know, I should start fighting stuff just because. Was it Mango's very close to a group heal? What did that do? Hmm. I wonder if that took away the staircase, like a bridge right there that I didn't see. We can't get this though. So Ooh. That just sounds cool. It doesn't even have to be good, I'm sure it's better. Wow. Why are all why are there so many goodies here? Like all these chests are actual like armor and weapon upgrades that are not like plus three attack, like they're plus you know, a lot of attack. And then effects. I guess let's fight this. Let's see if Cyclone works. No. Yeah. What is a group attack? Okay, laser. Okay. Oh, we have the rave party. That's weird. Blue Scout gets healed. Well, by anything that's not mat or water. Or something. Fights all magic but fire. I'm hitting the wrong person. I'm glad you hit him. He's like the toughest guy right now. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, if all these if other characters start getting group heals, then that's gonna make things a lot better. That's the big reason I keep slotting in Rash is because he's got a group heal already. But if one or two other characters get it, then it's gonna be fantastic. So I took a midterm last week and I got completely smashed on it. But my lowest score is gonna get dropped, so I'm not as worried. But it was definitely inexcusable, so I'm already I'm already studying ahead. 
Like, I've already, uh... I've already read... Like, my next section and stuff like that. Alright. I'm trying to figure out who's more dangerous. Like, in this setup, I mean, I guess the, uh... I don't even know. Like, those guys don't do a lot of damage unless they retaliate with magic. And then this guy does some actual strong stuff, but he goes down really quick. Maybe we should just hit him. It's like, these rain abilities, they were only doing, like, 50. Well, I did a little more, but... Punch him! Okay, do you see how he like overheaded him, but then it made an uppercut motion? <laughs> Little continuity things. That's when you're hyper technical. Everyone has that one friend who's like too unrealistic with movies and stuff. You're like, that would never happen. It's dumb. It's like, you know what? It's a movie. Just take it for what it is. Okay, so we killed these guys and nothing happened. we get a bridge down there? Oops. I guess we'll fight all these and then we'll be done if nothing happens. You know, so far, like, I got a couple comments that people enjoyed the longer video. For the, uh, the last one, and I still wouldn't mind doing longer ones, but... Like, the, uh... Part of the reason the videos went kind of slower the last couple days is also because I've been having a lot of internet issues for no reason. Like, whenever I start streaming, like if I stream Twitch, or try and upload a video, my internet resets after like two minutes. And then it'll come back on, and then it'll work for a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's, so it's kind of... It's been kind of scary. It's like, why... I called my ISP, and they said they'd send a tech out, because my internet shouldn't be doing this. Which is good, but... Yeah, I just, I don't understand why. Just, it's made it really annoying, because it's like... That longer video, the reason it came up Thursday instead of Wednesday is because I couldn't get it uploaded, my internet kept dying. And then one day, on Thursday morning, I started the upload and I went to school and I came back like four hours later, three hours later, and it was uploaded. It just took forever, I guess. Because usually, because thankfully when it restarted, or my internet restarted, it would, uh, it would keep the upload going, so that was really good. It's, it's been a really good weekend so far. I've been playing a lot of Destiny, having a lot of fun, playing with my friend. My one of my best friends who I play Destiny with. We've been doing all kinds of shit. We've been doing pretty much everything that's not a raid. And I said I was gonna go save or something, wasn't I? Little optical illusion puzzles there. Can't go this way. I like that they're using the actual like angle of the terrain and stuff though as the as a thing. Probably gonna need a fight if we do that. I have another fight here. Oh! Well, I guess we're attacking that one. I tried to get to the other guy and it didn't happen. Oh no, my techniques that I'm not using. This actually feels like a good group for here. Like I said, I didn't like this team at first, but now that... Was it Mango's getting... Now that Mango has a group heal on top of these guys countering magic with magic, like strong magic. This team actually feels really good. Plus, Mango got an ass load of upgrades. He got like every every item that was armor or weapon that I picked up in here, I think he got. So, it's pretty funny. Star Sword. That sounds like a Mario RPG item. Or like star weapons and shit. Do I want to keep... That's probably just better, because that's got the 50% bonus damage, but then 
the flat... Like, think of it this way. If the flat damage increase on the Star Sword is better than the 50% bonus on this, on the Demon Edge, then, you know, why use it? You know, because if, like, you know, using easy numbers, if you normally hit for 100, then you hit a magic enemy for 150 with the Demon Edge, but the Star Edge makes you hit them for 170, then there's no point to using that thing anymore. Yeah, we got this. Alright, so we're going to save after this fight, and then we'll be done for this one. Damn. Alright. Oh, I guess you have to attack him when he's not next to him. That's what it is. Like, do you have to wait? There he goes. I guess you have to hit him one more time after that. Interesting graphic on the Star Sword animation, by the way. It's got this little... It's got like a... The reason it's interesting is because the hit... The little shockwave on the hit or whatever... Has a lot of animation frames. Like, there's a lot going on in a very quick second. So it makes it look really fast, so it's actually pretty interesting. I like when they do stuff like that with animations. So I'm going to run back to the save point, And then we'll uh, continue next time. So we actually got some stuff done. That's pretty cool. So yeah, next time, more Ocean Palace. Hopefully more awesome items and crazy-looking demon statues and stuff. So look forward to that, and I'll see you later.